My name is Kevin Wong and my age is 18 and we're looking at wastewater treatment today. I mean from the name of it, wastewater, I'm expecting something to be smelly, something to be disgusting, something to be dirty and all that. It all has to go somewhere. Kevin's off to Pawanui in the Coromandel where he's flushing out the notion that a job dealing with wastewater is not a job to be sniffed at. This small holiday settlement is one of the most advanced treatment facilities in New Zealand. Hi Terry. Hey Kevin, how are you going? Pretty good, thanks. I, it's I a lovely you, day. Yeah, it is fantastic, isn't it? I, I hear you want, you want to have a look through my treatment plant? Yeah, I'm quite keen to, to find out what it's all about. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, come in and I'll show you around. Awesome, thanks. The Thames Coromandel District Council wanted a, um, a top-notch uh, wastewater treatment plant, and this is what we've got here today. Um, the, the people in the community have, have, got, a, have got no tolerance to, a, uh, to poor quality uh, wastewater being disposed of in the environment now, and uh, I think uh, what they've done here is fantastic. Anyway, Kevin, this is a pretty exciting job, so I hope you're going to enjoy it. I've been um, doing this for about uh, oh, about 20 years now. Yes, find, well. it, find it really exciting. I get a um, real good hands-on um, with a mechanical knowledge. I can be using a computer next, um, operating a, a lab, doing a lot of critical tests for the, for the process. So it's a whole whole range of, uh, of expertise. Kevin first gets to see where the raw sewage arrives at the plant. Yeah, well, Kevin, this is where it all happens, mate. This is where the, where the raw sewage first comes into the treatment plant. Oh, OK. okay. <clears throat> what we've got here is we've got a, um, a, a step screen. And what happens, what, what the step screen does is it removes all the, um, all the unbiodegradable material, plastics, um, bits of wood, sticks and stuff like that. So in the system here is a screen, and the screen is actually removing all that material that we don't want in our process. It's so sort of like um, an escalator going up and yeah, down. Yeah, like, yeah, like, exactly like that. First job for Kevin, clearing one of the steps that's blocked. Whoa. <laughs> what you don't want to do is, is, is have it full blast, because if you have it full blast, we're going to get wet. Okay. I'm going to get wet. <laughs> Better stand back that then. ain't going to happen. All right, so let's go. Do it really, really slowly. Yep. So don't get your face too close to me, because you will get some back. Yeah. This, this job will suit um, you know, a, a hands-on person, um, but also a person who takes pride on their, in, their, in their job as well. It's, it's, it's not a job that you can sort of sit back and, and not uh, pay attention to it. It's your first job today, well done. Awesome. The main part of the process happens here in the aeration tank or reactor. The incoming raw sewage or influent is literally eaten by millions of bugs. So we've got the food, which is the raw influent, the biomass. And, we, and, the, and the bacteria actually needs air to actually survive as well. Okay. So it's like ourselves, we need cheeseburgers and we need food to breathe. <laughs> <clears throat> so um, this process here is doing all three of those. We've got the, 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 the food coming in, being the raw effluent. We've got the biomass, being the bacteria. And we've got the oxygen to keep them alive. Okay, what we're going to do, mate, is we're going to grab the bucket here with the rope on it. Okay. And we're going to lower that into the reactor. And what we want to do is completely submerge the bucket in, uh, below the water. All right. Sounds like fun. Don't, don't let the bucket go because it'll disappear into the bottom of the tank, okay? And I don't want to have that happen, all right? The sample will be taken to the lab to measure the level of solid matter in suspension in the tank. You're keeping the bacteria in a real healthy state. It can only take about um, 12 hours for the process to actually turn upside down. And it could actually take me up to a week to get it uh, to get it back online again. So it's very important that I keep a close eye on the process. Sludge drops to the bottom, leaving clear water on the surface. This clear water is transferred from the tank to the third and final stage of the process. What we're doing is we're just putting the the, uh, the, the wastewater through a, a fine filter, and just removes any final final particles before we uh, dispose of it. And we uh, also use the uh, we got uh, UV for disinfection. So that kills any of the final bacteria in the, um, in, the, in the wastewater before it gets disposed. So this particular plant in Pawanu has, has got the toughest consents in New Zealand. Um, basically the water that we're putting off these plants are, uh, are drinkable um, and that they decided to have that, uh, that uh, quality because these, uh, the final uh, treated effluent of these plants is going to be used for irrigating the, um, the, the local parks and reserves. The sludge is pumped to a dewatering plant which turns the muddy mix into a dry compost. And that's what it looks like now, with all the water taken out of it. So if you've got a good garden at home, ideal for it. Okay. And the smell's gone too, too. Yep. I was, I was expecting a lot of sewage, um, just everywhere, you know. But no, it's just, it's like a backyard even, you know. It's really clean here. It's, it doesn't even smell. So Thierry, do you have to be able to do calculus or write lengthy essays to do this job? Yeah, we're having a... Um Having, having some understanding of maths is certainly an advantage, but uh, to tell you the truth, I, I left school when I was uh, 15. Okay. Um, so you know, I wasn't, wasn't an expert on, on maths or um, writing essays and that. 
but certainly over the years since I've been doing my job, I've become a lot more um, familiar with, um, with um, using formulas and maths okay. and also um, writing reports mainly with the um, computer now. What sets modern wastewater treatment apart is the advanced level of monitoring and automation. The process can be controlled both in the office or at home simply by dialing up using a laptop. But however sophisticated the gear, collecting samples and lab calculations is very much part of the job. Lab work is very important to uh, my job here. Um, it, it's, uh, it's so we can make um, process changes to, the, to our, our treatment plant to um, really make sure the um, processes are working correctly and that's, um, we end up with a final influent, influent that meets our resource consent conditions. So certainly um, the testing is, is an is a, uh, important part of my role as an operator at the plant here. There you go, Kevin. That's, that's why I enjoy my job so much. You won't, you won't find any stream in New Zealand that looks as good as that. So has Kevin scrubbed up as well as the water? Yeah, Kevin's done really well. Um, it's, it's, it's good to have someone to, uh, when you can explain to them the process, and they can actually question uh, your, your, your conversation. So I think that's great to actually hear from a student. I had a wonderful experience. Uh, it's, it's very fulfilling. It's a lot of learning, and it's a lot of fun too. The Primary Industry Training Organisation offers a national certificate in wastewater treatment and skills are learnt on the job. Anyone with a practical bent and strong initiative can be a wastewater treatment operator. Good results in NCEA maths and science is often enough to secure a place. To study you need to be employed in the industry. The principles of running a wastewater treatment plant are the same everywhere, so the skills learnt here can extend to anywhere in the country. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.